Welcome back to Board Game Closet. I am Rod. I'm Bradley. And today we looked at Inuit. Inuit. The Snowfolk. <laughs> the Snowfolk. And this game is by what? Board and Dice? Board and Dice. Board, I can barely read that because my hand is <laughs> on my head. All right, so you want to go ahead and explain the game to us? Yeah, sure. So this is a card drafting We're game. We're actually kind of jumping the gun here, aren't we? We're well, supposed to rate the game first. We might as well rate it first. Okay, so how do we rate the game here? So we have a red dice. If you are not into it, get it out of here. Hate I don't it. want to play it. I hate it. White dice, if you're willing to play it, if it's set up, if it's around, I'll play that. And a green dice, if we're saying go buy the thing. Go find it. Go get it. It's happening. It's hot. It's happening. So uh, I'm ready for mine. I'm ready for mine. All right, here we go. And green for me. White. white for me. Okay. It All was right. boring white and maybe red, Ooh. but uh, we'll, we'll have to explain that a little bit. White with a hint of red. Exactly. Mm. Kind well, of a slash mark. So, okay, so when you start in the game, everyone gets their own player board. And this is a really cool part for me in that there's, it's not much, it's really simple, folds down to really small. And each spot here tells you what card you can draft from the center. Everyone has the same cards that they draw from. And the end of the game is triggered by a certain card that you get to in the bottom of the deck. So as you go through, the elder position, for example, allows you to draw adults and children, which will then allow you to draw more cards later on. Another example would be you're a bear hunter from the bear hunter position. You could only draw bears from the middle position, and then that would give you victory points later on. Warriors allow you to turn adults and children into weapons like you do, uh, so on and so forth. The, the artwork for me, though, was killer. I love the artwork in this game. Yeah, I mean, that's one thing about this game. The first thing that you notice is how the artwork is. Yeah. From the cover to the box is outstanding mm -hmm. to all the cards. I mean, just between each of the... You can see, you identify the characters nicely. The color yeah. is bright, brilliant. Yes. It's, it's outstanding when it comes to the artwork. Very easy to determine. And for some people, I think I've seen on some reviews lately, um, they're worried about a colorblind issue. All the colors are very clearly uh, have a symbol on each of them. So you can match those, and then that correlates to symbols everywhere else. So it's very interconnected. The symbols are easy to find, easy to read. Like for purple, you find this uh, bird, you know, whatever. Then green has a different kind of bird. And so even though this whole thing is purple, it still has plenty of symbols on it to help you identify which child or adult card that you need as the game goes on because at the end of the game when you're scoring up points you actually lose points and uh, as well i should say get a handy dandy uh score pad here you actually lose points for every other color a village type villager type that you have so they, it's really simple you just pick a card up put it another thing so what what did you like about the game to make your dream so for me, it was easy to teach, easy to learn, and the box that I bought just right off the shelf, this wasn't a special order, special delivery, comes with two expansions, uh, the base pack and two expansion, expansions, and most of the rules you can explain in just a paragraph or two. It was, like I said, once you start your turn, you pick a spot, and that's the card that you choose from. How many you can draw is determined on how much you've put under the board to allow you to do that. Right. So my uh, my issue with the game, because it is white for me, so I would play it again, but there's still, the reason I won't go out and buy this game is because it's, to me it's so it's so much like all 100 million other games that are out there. Mm -hmm. We're just trying to get some points. Yeah. I figure they could put a theme on it. You, know, you put any theme on this game yeah. and it's, it's going to work, you yeah. know. So it doesn't, um, I don't know, I, I guess I guess the theme is, is fine. It's, it's good, mm -hmm. actually. I love, like I said, the artwork, but the game itself and how we're playing the mechanics and stuff don't always make sense. Yeah. Don't make sense with yeah. the theme, I guess, is the best way to put it. Like, is it enough? You know, right. and for you, it's just not enough. Yeah, I mean, there's, there's, there's it's just a high level game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it is very simple. Yeah. Uh, but it, it is fun to play with, because, uh, you know, a lot of players that I play with love this type of game. Mm -hmm. And so. I mean, for me, it's one, it's one of the better games, yeah. especially since I'll sit down and play it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, and it's worth noting that uh, Rod won. Oh, that's right. The last time I played, and yes. I won. You took, you took the... Who thought the, that? Uh, I don't know about that. 
<laughs> but you know, again, the components are really good. The player board is thick cardboard. The the cards are pretty good thickness sure. cardstock. Um, great art. Great art. Like I could go on and on with the things I like about it, but that's the thing. It's so simple. I, I feel like if I had to say anything negative, the box is too much. I feel like you could do half the size sure. of the box. But then I've also heard, well, my shelf is made for right. this size box. So I don't know. Maybe <laughs> that's not worth talking about. But for me, I like you know, minimizing the space. And being that this game is only cards and, you know, these player boards, you don't need this. You don't need all that. That's the only bad thing I would say about it. It's taking too much shelf space. Too much shelf space. This is what I got back here, so uh, that's all I have. That's all I have. So, yeah. So that's Inuit, the snow folk. Follow us on Facebook. We're doing live streams over there. If you don't know about that, we have a Patreon. You can support us. We're sending out stickers. There's exclusive content that you'll find on there, early access to the podcast. So, yeah, I guess we'll catch you guys later. And welcome to our new studio. Second studio. All right. All right. <laughs> See you guys later. Bye-bye.